Well, here, here's, here's that, that's, that's where a lot of people get it wrong. A lot of people that run, that run advertising, just paid advertising, they're, they're missing the fact that it all starts by giving away something of value for free. Yeah. Like that's the top of the funnel. That's the top of the funnel. And so a lot of businesses, they want to run ads and go straight for the sell because yes. they just, they it's just don't so have hard to convince them. That's not the way you should be doing it. Yeah. Well, and it's not about, yeah. And you got to convince them that's one thing, but at the same time, it, it just comes down to taking the bull by the horn and, and just, and, 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 and doing it for them. So for example, with a restaurant, that's the easiest freaking thing in the world with the dentist. That's the easiest thing in the world to run ads on because it starts with something free. It's the yeah. top of the funnel. I got to get people in our, I got to get people to like us. I got to get people to trust us. I got to give you something for free. I got to give the consumer something for free. So in a restaurant case, out of all these um, items that they, that they provide on their menu, what I would do in a rest, for a restaurant is I would simply say, hey, my whole job here as a Facebook advertiser, and, and here's another thing, with your florist, Let's talk about, let's talk about florists. Let's talk about restaurants. It's all the same damn thing. Yeah. Hosting organically is not what you're there to do. That's not your job. They're hiring you for one thing and one thing only. And, and this is how I would approach it if I were you. It sounds like from what you're saying, you got, you got your hands in a lot of different things. Like you're now all of a sudden a V or, or a, an assistant. You're all of a sudden freaking in charge of all kinds of random crap. You're driving around and shit. It's like, dude, that's not my job. Like, you're only hiring me unless, unless that's what you approached them on. If you approached a business owner and said, "Hey, I'm going to do this, 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 and this," okay, cool. Then, then that's why they're going to delegate all that to you, and you're going to feel overwhelmed like you are right now. Yeah. What well, you and that, some of that is fine because I, I am trying to have the attitude of I got to take what comes along. I have to learn, you know. And then but, but let me. To, but, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna simplify it for you though. Because yeah. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, all a business wants is customers. That's it. Yep. That's it. They don't give a shit about anything else. It's it's it. So so all this other random stuff that that they're trying to either delegate to you or you're trying to take on because you're trying to be nice and you're trying to t earn their business and you're trying to freaking be badass and you think that you're superwoman and you could freaking do all this random stuff on social media because you're quote unquote a social media person. It's like, no, dude, you are, I, I, first of all, all that stuff is dead. Organic posting, none of that stuff's going to do anything for you. You're a florist. You're in this local area. You're in Boston. Let's say you're in Boston and, 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 and your local florist is right here on the corner of freaking 31st and Park or whatever the hell. But your friends on your personal Facebook page, if you have 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, even if you have 1,500, 99% of them live outside of the state. 99% yeah. of them live, live outside of the city. Yep. So your organic <laughs> posting ain't nothing. And let's, yeah, say, no. and let's say you have seven, 700 people on your, on your business page. You clicked invite before hiring me, Mr. Flores, you clicked invite to invite your 1700 personal Facebook friends to like your business page. Now you have 700 people that like your business page and you think you're badass when 99% of the 700 live across the country. And especially if I ran a like ad for you to, to take it to 7,000 or 4,000, 99% of those people for sure live around the damn world. So, so, so not only do these likes, not only are they all around the place, but Facebook, anytime you post organically, Facebook is only showing it to 1% of that like count anyways. Yeah. That's why when you post organically, no one's liking it because no one's seen it. And if they are seeing it, they're not even in the area. They're not even in the state. So here's my, here's my point. I'm not your social media person. You're hiring me to do one thing and one thing only. And that's to run Facebook ads. That's it. Okay. Because so, that, that's it. But, so but, here's but, but let me say this part real quick on a florist and on a restaurant, for example, the only ad you need to be running is a free giveaway. For a restaurant, I'm running an ad on a 25% coupon. For a florist, I'm running an ad for a 25% coupon or whatever the hell the percentage may be. That's, that's the front of the funnel. That's it. Yeah. So we're running an ad. And with the dentist, I'm only going to be running an ad for you to get people a coupon, a free download for a free teeth cleaning. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That, yeah. That's as simple and as stupid as it gets. But guess what? That's what's going to get us hundreds of leads. And that's what's going to get hundreds of people through your door because we start at the top of the funnel. 
If, if I'm yeah. running an ad and pitching you some crazy service right now, it's like, dude, I'm shooting myself in my, in, in the foot. Yeah. It's like, you don't approach the market that way, especially when the market doesn't even know you just because you lived in the area for 55 years, Mr. Dennis, and don't, don't think everyone knows you just because yeah. you have a business and you've been on this corner for 55 years. Don't think everyone knows you, especially when you're in a city of 3 million people. So when you're running an ad for the very first time in a Facebook ad, Instagram ad, even a YouTube ad, you're running it to a cold market of people that don't necessarily know you. And if you are Mr. Popular and you've been on that corner for 55 years, okay, we're running it to, to that city. Let's say 1% may be familiar with your business, but the other 99%, they've never seen you before at all. Like, like there could be a dentist that runs an ad right now. I'm in San Diego. There's 3 million people in San Diego. There's a dentist that runs an ad right now in my newsfeed and he happens to live, their business is in San Diego. Do you know that I'm not going to know who the hell that is? Like yeah. I'm not. Like yeah. they're running an ad to a cold market, even though I live here, even though their practice has been there for 55 years, I've never been there. Unless they're, unless they're smart from the get-go and they're targeting a custom audience of their existing clients, okay, great. Then I'll see an ad in my news feed. Hey, there goes my dentist. But right. if they're not running a, an ad to a custom audience of people that they've done business with, with before and they're just all of a sudden running an ad on some random stuff, it's like, dude, no one's even knowing you. So, so yeah. an ad in the beginning, give that audience something entice them to want to engage in the ad in the first place and with a restaurant with a dentist or with a with a restaurant with a dentist with a florist give me something for free give me a coupon for a free teeth cleaning give me yeah. a coupon for a free freaking dozen roses give me a coupon for 25 percent off for 35 percent off give me a coupon for a free drink with my next meal i'll yeah. download that all of a sudden i'm in your funnel that email list is the most important because once we run ads on the front end to get people the free promotion then we have an email list of 700 people that all live in our local area that we can email every freaking week with a new promotion so this whole freaking corona thing that you're talking about with the dentist yeah dude i can't run the ad on that but guess what if i tweak the pitch and offer them something different something for free just to get them in my funnel then I can email them all the Corona crap I want to email them in the future. And once we, once we, once we, once we, once we pay for that click, once we pay for that lead up front, the top of the funnel to give them that damn coupon in the beginning, then every email and every promotion that I send out, because that's what you're hiring me for. Here's what I'm going to do for you, Mr. Business owner. I'm going to run your Facebook ads and I'm going to run your email marketing. Because once I capture the lead from the Facebook ad on the front end, I'm going to be able to email this list of 700 people every freaking day, whatever the hell offer we got. Yeah. And there's no cost for that. So, yeah. so you're, you're going to pay me to email these people different promotions. That's where your ROI is going to come is on the back end from giving them something of value for free on the front end. And that free is a stupid, simple free download. Give me something. Give the audience something. Yeah. Well, okay. So with, so with the restaurant, what, and now I'm thinking maybe we'll just start running multiple ads is we've been, I just started an ad. Um, multiple had, ads on one promotion, give them a coupon. Well, so what, so they, what they're doing, they do 40% off at mm -hmm. one restaurant and then they have 25% off at another just because they're different price points. But so what we've also been doing is I'd seen somebody else was doing this um, on YouTube and it looked like it would be really successful is a engagement campaign. So nope. you like, nope. comment, and share on the page. And then at well, the end of May, we're going to draw a winner and they want a free dinner with delivery, free delivery. That, um, that could work. Yeah, that actually, yeah, yeah, that would, that would work. That would work for sure. It, but I'm thinking to do, so, so to do the free dinner giveaway and then also to run the 40% off and the 25% off ones as well. So yeah. and I, I think my strategy needs to change a little bit and like, instead of being like, oh, I can do this and we can run some Facebook ads. It needs to be more like you, we need to have an understanding up front that our main focus is going to be on Facebook ads. And if they're not interested in that, then I'm not going to do it. Right. Don't you think? Cause I do feel like I am spending so much time doing other things yeah, and that, we're kind that, of running Facebook mm -hmm, ads. Mm-hmm. And, and that's how we all start. That's how I started. I, I was taking on all kinds of crap. If they want a logo, I got you. You want social yeah. media graphics? I got you. Like, it's like, dude. And then, and then I had a, and then, and then, and then who was it? I, it was definitely a mentor of mine. One mentor, I forgot which one it was, but that's when he said, 
dude, no, it's, it's, it's one thing you focus on one thing. And, yeah. and, 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 and that's when I was like, dude, no more posting for these people, no more freaking none of this other crap. Like it's one yeah. thing you're, you're paying me to run these Facebook ads and, yeah. and to manage the, 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 um, the, the email automation, because that's what you want to do also. Cause you want to be able to justify the cost that you, you, you're, you're charging them, you know, yeah. it, 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 because, because that's the main, main component, the Facebook ad capturing the lead and monetizing that email, that email list. And, 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 and a dentist or whoever, a business owner to not see the value in an email list is absolutely ridiculous. Like yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Like you ask that dentist, say, hey, dentist, you, how long have you been here? 40 years? How many customers have you got? Thousands? How many emails of them do you have? None? Yeah. So, so, so you're telling me we, if you, so, so what I'm telling you, Mr. Dennis, is that if you actually captured everyone's email that walked through your door, how easy would it be for us to send them an email right now yeah. to get them back over? Yeah. Like how easy would that be? And, 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 and how much would that cost? Zero. Right. No, I, I get it. One, one thing I kind of decided last night that I'm like, I am done with this. So the restaurant is an Indian restaurant and, and I do all this because the guy's like the nicest thing. But so his like um, manager girl who's super nice, she sent me like, a bunch of groups, you know, of like Indians of America, you know, not Indians of America, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah, all the yeah. groups and stuff. So I went and joined those and I'm like, no, I'm not posting in all of those groups, all of my posts, because that takes so much freaking time. And just like you're saying, some of these groups are like, who knows where they're not coming to this restaurant. No, not at all. So why am I spending so much time posting in all these groups? Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. So that I decided I'm, I'm wasting my time with doing that. Um, the florist. Yeah, I, I get it. And, and with mother's day coming up, especially, I think we need to capitalize on that and, and do an ad. You, okay. And, and here's the thing too. It's not just one ad. Like that's another, yeah. another, another problem that people have. Yes. They think they can run one ad. Like mm -hmm. that, that's, that's, that's another thing. Like that's my other stipulation. That's my other requirement. That's my other freaking if, if you ain't got that, I can't work with you. Yeah. And that's content. Like that's content after speaking to thousands and thousands of freaking business owners. Like this is all since 2016, literally since 2016, I've spoken to thousands on the like thousands. I'm not, that's not even an exaggeration. I've closed hundreds of clients. I've spoken to thousands on this exact topic since 2016. And everyone is concerned about how to run a Facebook ad. Everybody is concerned about a landing page or the email automation and the, all the back end. But what every single, I'm telling you, this is a fact, 99.9% .9 where every single one of them miss it is content. They don't have the ability to pump out content. Yeah. So if you can't put out content, Mr. Business Owner, that's where we have a problem. So, so for me posting organically, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about for us to put content out in advertisement. The only people that care to see your message, the only people that you care to get your message in front of are people who live in your local area where you do business. And the absolute only way to do that is through a Facebook ad. So unless we can, can, can shift our mindset and go from thinking from one ad to, I need, I need, I, we need to be thinking 10 ads. Yeah. And, and that's everyone's problem. So everyone comes to the table saying, yeah, Dave, I'm ready to run an ad. It's like, dude, th I didn't, I didn't, I, that wasn't plural. Like I, I just heard ad like, no. And I have, I have, I have clients that call not, well, people that I worked with in the past, not exactly clients that I, you know, retain, but I'll have, I'll have past clients, you know, mess email me all the time and say, David, I'm ready to run this ad. It's like, dude, that's not, no. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything for you. Like one yeah. ad is nothing. Like we got to be in the mindset. That's why I don't take on people like that. I take on people that, 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 that are willing to put, put out content. And, and if I got to put out the images, okay, that's one thing. But, but, but if, if, if you're the type of business owner that, that, that actually can produce video, simple video on your cell phone, that's who I'm looking for. That's, Someone that yeah, can so keep pumping content. Yeah. And back with the florist, like she's, I mean, I just met her yesterday, but I'm like, 
So yeah, remember we had talked about video and she's like, yeah, I'm like, you have to do it. I'm like, you just, just, why are you doing what you do? Where did you get started in this? Why do you love flowers? What do you, you know, the difference in your business and using like a big one or whatever. So I think I've really got her. She's like, oh, I hate myself on video. And I, you know, the whole chat that I've seen with you, you know, nobody cares what you look like and mm -hmm. you've got to just do it. And, and so, so I do think, you know, and her thing with like Instagram is she has gotten business from that. So that's why she wants to me to be posting on it. And, but I think she is also um, open to, you know, I know she's open to ads, but like, and I think my head, like I can watch her content all day and go, they need to do this and they need to do that. And, but then when it comes to me and my own clients, I'm like, oh, okay, no, we don't have to, or, you know, like I'm just way too nice, but yet I'll watch your videos and be like, why isn't his client understanding you need to do this and that. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, like I've, I got to start walking the walk because i can talk it all day just but i i back down and i go okay if you only want to spend two dollars a day that's fine and you know when i know that's not enough so, yeah yeah but it's like you had said in the beginning like their main goal is to get customers to get patients to get clients so i've got to just make that happen and that's going to be through ads yeah. yeah and 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 that's why what what i used to do in the very beginning is i used to just just give them one one fee like whether it's a thousand a month or fifteen hundred a month, one fee, and and from that my profit is in there, and and also the advertising cost, right? So if I'm charging them fifteen hundred, okay, they pay one up front, okay. They, they, they just give me the whole fifteen hundred, and from there I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll, I'll allocate whatever I need to for the ads, and then I'll I'll take my profit out of it without telling them that. I'll just say fifteen hundred. That's it. Yeah. Like I'll, you know, I don't gotta explain you know anything to them. Just fifteen hundred. That's it. But yeah. now what I do is I charge them separately. So I'll say, okay, cool. If you want to spend two bucks a day, okay, whatever. But my retainer is a thousand a month. So, yeah. so, so a thousand a month and I'll spend what, what and, and, and so now Facebook's going to charge you. So now you're going to have two fees. Facebook's going to charge you and we will spend whatever you want to spend. So if it's two bucks a day, I'm telling you right now, you ain't going to get nothing. 20 bucks a day, 50 bucks a day, whatever the hell you want to spend. I'm all for it. You're hiring me to just do it all for you. And, and again, that's why to justify it, yeah. I tell them, I say, hey, man, my whole job is to run these Facebook ads. Whatever your budget is, that's fine. But our whole objective is to capture leads, okay? It's not just to post on social media. That's not what I'm here for. That's not what I'm here for. You're hiring me to run ads to capture leads. That's it. Like, that's it. And, and, and so my retainer, let's just say it's 1000 a month. I'll run whatever you want to spend on Facebook ads. Facebook will charge you for that separately. And what we're also going to do is I'm going to manage this email autoresponder because as these leads come in, these emails need to be, need to be managed. So yeah. I'll, I'll do that for you. And I do everything through Kartra. So in order for you to really maximize this, we need landing page software and we need email automation software. And, and, and we need a calendar software in case, you know, any of these people want to schedule an appointment with you. Yeah. Now, some of these businesses okay. already have some type of calendar. If they do, okay, great, whatever. But if they don't, then that just justifies again, why, why they need this. So as long yeah. as you set this up, Mr. Business Owner, cause you're going to need it because even when I'm gone and you're not, you're, you know, I'm not running these ads for you anymore. You still need you. This is, this is where we're at right now. And that's why I always try to tell people, I'm like, dude, cut everything you're doing. Every online, every offline marketing that you're putting out, if it's not working, we need to cut it now. We need to cut it now. The only form of advertising that I truly believe with all my heart that a business owner needs to be doing today is Facebook advertising and capturing that email. That is it. That is it. That, that is it. Like I'm telling you, that is it. Your offline right. events suck. Your offline marketing sucks. It's expensive. Your direct mail, your flyers, your freaking networking events, all that crap is crap. So where we're at today right now, I'm a professional, Mr. Business Owner. Take my advice. Facebook ads, landing pages, email automation. That's all we yep. need. Yep. All right. So, so, so speaking of Kartra, let, we could just do a quick, so on Kartra, does she, have, like, let's say my florist, does she have her own Kartra account or heck am yeah. I? So, yes. No, no. But she I can her go into my Kartra account, create her that stuff. I mean, I've watched her videos. I can create the landing pages and then I can just share them with her account. Heck yeah. And, okay. and, then, and then you set up her account with your affiliate link. So now okay. you make a 40% commission every month on that account. Okay. Which, which so ain't a she lot. Makes a video, but, obviously they go into her videos. They're not in my videos. No, no, they go into her account. Yeah. Everything goes into her account, everything but, but again, it, it depends. But I can make the landing page in my, 
Like I try to stay out of their stuff as much as possible, you know, just so I can make her landing page in mine and then just give it to her. Yes. Like you would okay. come in, create it. And then, and then you would just um, come over here to my campaigns to the left. Mm -hmm. And then you would just create whatever the heck you want. So I'd go right here to my campaigns and then I hit the green button and then I can name the, the campaign florist or whatever. Okay. And then yeah. I can create, so I can grab a page. I can grab the form that I set up. I can grab the email list that I set up for them. I can grab the email sequence that I set up for them. I can grab the calendar that I set up for them. And so everything over here on the left, when it comes to any random business, it's going to be my communications, which is going to be their email list and their email autoresponder, which is your, the sequence. Okay. It's going to be my pages. It's going to be my forms. Mm -hmm. It's going to even be my, it could even be my videos. And, and, and my calendars. That right there is what you would create inside of yours. And then okay. you would package all that up and get a share code and then you would send it to them. But then all, all right. but, but you're, and, and so they can log in and they can, they can, they can import that share code, share, share code. Or again, that's why they have you. So I wouldn't even tell them to do that, to do that. I would just create it in your account and then, and then log into theirs and import okay. it. Okay. That's what they're paying you for. Yeah. So, so if they want to say, Oh, $99 a month for that, it's like, dude, this is where we're at 2020. What do you mean? Like you're spending way more for offline shit. You're a traditional business owner. Like your freaking rent is 5,000 a month alone. Like you, what do you mean a hundred bucks? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Like that's cheap. Like compared to okay. what your other expenses are. Okay. So it, I, I've forgotten how much it's a hundred dollars a month. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Okay. 99 a month for landing pages, your email automation. And, and just in case we need the calendar, but what I really pitch is the, is the landing pages and the email automation. Because right. if it's not, if it's not Kartra, then you'll have to go get those two software separately with two monthly bills. Okay. And then I, I'm just looking up at my products. She can have her arrangements listed under my products. Um, Yes and no. I mean, my products here, Kartra is more, is, is more for digital products. So if I'm selling an ebook, if I'm selling a digital course, a Got membership it. course, it's, it's that type. But for physical products, not really. Physical products, she probably has her own website for, for purchases of, and, and that's like a, more of an e-commerce type of, of website. For a florist, Shopify, you could for sure do a Shopify or you can do any other type of random website. Okay. for, for, for e-commerce products. But again, that's not your job. Like you're only here to run Facebook ads and drive people to a landing page to capture the lead. So we can build an email list of all these people who live in your backyard. That's it. That's it. If you want to hire someone to build a website, to put all these flowers on, that's someone else. That ain't me. Right. Yeah. That's what I need to do. I, I'm you need like, someone oh, to post for you every day. That's someone else. That ain't me. Yeah. Like, like I, uh, that's that. And, and here's why, I, here's how I justify it. And here's how I explain it. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, you might think that you're doing something on, on Instagram, Mr. Flores, Mrs. Flores, you got 5,500 followers. You may think you're getting business. All I'm here to do is whatever you, whatever you're telling me you're getting, I'm here to help you do that per day. I'm here to help you get that per month through actual advertising. Like, mm -hmm. That organic, don't lie to me, dude. You're not getting a lot of business that way. No, you're not. Like, no, you're not at all. Like, don't lie to me. Like, mm -hmm. like it, it, because, because again, it's just the facts are, it's just 90, 90, 99%. Let's just say 90, 90% of those 5,700 followers don't live in your area. Mm -hmm. So how are you telling me that you're getting business from organic posting? Yes, people can hashtag and search you and find you. Okay, that's one thing. But, but at the same time, I'm talking about real advertising. Like, so if yeah. you think you're doing good that way, imagine if we start targeting our local area and offering yeah. them some type of discount. So that's what I'm thinking. This will be interesting. To, if she thinks, oh, things are going well with whatever. And then we do some crazy ad that like gets her really stuff. Then maybe she'll go, okay, yeah, I thought I was getting Instagram. Yeah. But, but, but as, I, as I keep mentioning, you can keep it, keep it super simple. It's, it's just all about getting, getting someone to, through the front door. Yeah. Not, not, not physical front door. I'm talking about front door, top of the funnel yeah. to get someone to see that ad and be enticed to click on it and go over to your landing page and give up their name and email because you gave them something of value. That's the front yeah. door. That's the top of the funnel in this new digital world. Once I capture that email, <laughs> I can email them whatever the hell I want after that. Yeah. And, that and, and there's no advertising expense to that. But guess what, Mr. Flores? 
you're going to need me still because I'm going to be the one emailing them. Yeah. So I'm here to run the Facebook ad. I'm here to run your landing page software and your email automation. I want to build you a list of people in your local backyard. And the yeah. way we're going to do that is we're going to offer a coupon. It's that simple. People are going to download it and we're going to get hundreds of people in this area. Bottom line, that's it. Yeah. And through the email automation, then I can email you a link to my website to get you to purchase on there if, if, if I wanted to. But the whole purchase wasn't the Facebook ad. Yeah. You see that? So, so a florist would say, dude, these are the roses. This is what's coming up. I want to run freaking a promotion on this. That's how normally they would think. But it's like, dude, let's, let's back up and let's just let's dumb it down. Let, let, let's, let's give them a coupon just to get, get them in the front door first. Yeah. And then we'll maximize profits on the back end. Yeah. Yeah. I have an excellent idea for a promo for her too. So I think we, and we need to do it like now since Mother's Day. You now. need to do like 10 of them now. Yeah. Not just one, not just one. You need to do like 10 of them now. Like, mm -hmm. it, and that's the thing. It, it, it's, when, when it comes to Facebook ads, it's all about, it's all about testing. It's all about running multiple ads because yeah. one image or one video may not be the one that grabs the attention. Yep. And so that's why we need multiple images. And, and, that, and that's, that's when you run a Facebook ad and you create multiple ad sets or, yeah. or you create multiple ads. So, so I run one ad, but the ad is targeting four different, four different interests. Yeah. That, that's four different ad sets. And then the ad part, which is the <laughs> image or the video, let's say image, the ad part, the image has four different images. Yeah. So it's right. not necessarily four different ads. It's one ad with four different ad sets, which are four different interest targeting. Yeah. And then also four different images on the ad part. Yep. So speaking of that, I didn't want to change topics, but you brought it up. Do you do A B testing or do you do it more on the ad level? Just change the creative in the ad. What do you mean A B testing? Do you mean just split testing in general? Yeah, no, you know, in the beginning where it says split AB, like I looked it up and I watched the video and they said it really is just, everything is the same. You've just changed one thing. That's what split AB testing is. Yeah, it, yeah, I mean, whether, whether so we like, want to- But isn't that the same thing as just changing the creative at the ad level? Yeah, so, so here, so when we come into Facebook, let's say, and again, for that type of ad, for your whole promotion, everybody shares it and we got a raffle going on at the end of the month. Yeah, engagement, you can do some something- you know, cool like that with engagement, yeah. but 99% of the time it's conversions. Yeah. I'm driving it to a landing page to capture a lead. Bottom See line. There at the bottom, create a B testing. But it, so no, with conversions no. though, if we don't have any list right now, do we use conversions? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. But no, this don't even worry about that. Shade yeah. that gray, shade that gray. And here's where it's, here's where it's at. So now we go to the ad set level. And so here's what I mean by, by multiple ad sets. Yeah. So as we come in here and we just set this up, you first want to set it up. Um, like let's, this is the conversions. So the conversions, you have to set up a custom conversion first. And I have a video on that. The custom conversion is, is around, is built around, is created around the thank you page. So if I'm driving traffic to the landing page, let's say this is the landing page. This is your florist doctor, dentist, freaking restaurant, whatever. We're bringing them to one landing page. They come in here. They enter their name and email. This custom conversion, this conversion ad cannot be ran unless you do this first. So they come in, they opt in, they hit the blue button and they come to the thank you page. This thank you page, this URL right here at the top, you don't need the HTTPS. You yeah. just grab this part right here. This is used to set up a custom conversion. So you come over here, you hit the three lines, you come to events manager and you create a custom conversion around the thank you page. Then when you come yeah. in here to run the ad, this red box, you're going to click in there and you're going to find that custom conversion. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. So, okay. so at this point with the floors, with having no data, we, we wouldn't do conversions, right? We would do engagement or something else. No, conversions has nothing to do with data right now. Like you want to, okay. yeah, well, it's not the fact that it's, it's not data. It's the pixel. So the pixel, Facebook needs to start knowing who the heck your audience is because yeah. just because you target your local area, 
that doesn't that doesn't mean that doesn't mean everything. Like it's a cold market. So even though you know the targeting, you're putting in the demographics, the freaking age, the gender, even though you're putting in all that, it's still a cold market. These are people that never freaking seen you before, especially if you're not targeting custom audiences. So if you're not targeting custom audiences, you're running it to a cold market, bottom line. So Facebook, just because you're telling them who to target, that doesn't mean that those people are going to like what the hell you're offering. Yeah. So, 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 so Facebook, so it's the pixel that needs to start getting data which will allow your conversion ads to convert even higher, but it's not data, it's pixel, it's pixel data. But, but at the same time, that will start to gather more data as you start to run more ads. That's what I'm saying, it's not one ad. You gotta be thinking 10 ads right now. Yeah. Um, but but here's, here's my point on, on, the, on the testing, on the, it's not even, well, it's not, yeah, it's, it's, you can call it testing, but really it's just setting up multiple ad sets. It is testing, but here, here's how you would do it. So for example, you would target that local city, right? Let's say, let's say people living in this location and we'll just go, we'll just go Boston. So people living in Boston, Massachusetts, and we can, you know, obviously change the miles. We can do whatever we want, but here's the deal. Age, what you can, you know, t do change the age, gender, whatever. But here's what I'm saying in the detail targeting, I would target the interest, obviously, flowers. So here's pretty flowers. There's cut flowers. <clears throat> there's Brandon flowers. It's just the overall interest. So yeah. we could type in, let's say, <clears throat> Mother's Day flowers, or or even just Mother's Day. Yeah. That that's one. That's one. So here's what here's 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 how the testing works. The split testing works, or the you know ad sets. It's one word. So what most people do is they'll put 15 different words right there. Mm -hmm. It's and one you word. you don't know which one is actually getting the first Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's one word. That's one word. We come over here <clears throat> and then you can, you can add the connection type, which is a business page if you want. You can include or you can exclude. Normally what I do is I'll exclude because yeah. again, 99% of the people who like your business page don't live in the area. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to target them. So normally I'll exclude the business page. And then down here, I'll leave it at automatic placements and then the budget, here's how, here's how the whole multiple ad sets work. If, you, if your budget was 25 bucks a day, that's why two bucks a day, it's like, dude, come on, go somewhere else. I'm not your gal. Like yeah. you, you ain't gonna do nothing. I don't wanna waste your time. Like you're gonna waste two bucks a day, keep your $2 a day. It ain't gonna do nothing for you. You gotta be thinking a little bigger. So let's say, for example, let's say, let's say, let's say we're at 20 bucks a day. That's, 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 those are the type of people you're looking for. Let me just make that clear. You're looking for business owners that can spend at least 10 to 20 bucks a day. Okay. Okay. Let's call it 20. Now, here's how you want to break it down. Rather than $20 a day on this one ad set, rather than $20 a day on this one keyword, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go $5 a day and I'm going to create three more. Yeah. Okay. So, so now... I'm at twenty dollars a day, but now I'm running four different ad sets. Now yeah. I'm targeting four different four ad different sets. Audiences. So, mm -hmm. so as I go in here, and I hit continue, and I set up the ad, now I come over here, and and let's say I put a, a, an image. Let's say let's, let's say they don't, they don't want to do video, so I put a, I put a cool image of some nice roses or whatever. That right there, that that all comes right here. But here's what you want to do also: you post it on the business page first. Okay, so, so the ad is on the business page first. Mm -hmm. The text, the image, everything is on the business page first. And then by the time I get to the third and final step over here, I'm going to go use existing post and I'm going to grab the post from the page. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm going to select post and I'm going to find that post. Okay, so once I do that, the text is already there, the image is already there. I'm going to be able to add the call to action button. That's what I want to add is the, is the call to action button. So now the call to action button is the link to my landing page. That's the call to action button. So okay. as I finalize this ad, okay, as I finalize this ad, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the actual ads manager. Let me just show you an example of this, of this other one that I have running right now. So I would come over here to, to, to the ad. It doesn't, and I don't, yeah, you don't have to wait till it approves. You can, you can do it right away. So let's say, for example, this is the ad right here. 
I click on that. I'm going to come to the ad set level. And now this is what I'm going to do. Right over here, I'm going to <clears throat> check the box and I'm going to duplicate. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit duplicate. And then what I'm going to do, number of copies of each ad set, I'm going to go three. So now I'm going to, I'm going to duplicate three more times. <clears throat> and now these three others, all I have to do is go in and change the audience. Mm -hmm. So rather than Mother's Day, now I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in a keyword. And here's the thing. Number one, targeting is interest. Number two, targeting is maybe a big brand, one of their competitors. Yeah, like FTD, like came up. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you target, you target that. That's one interest. And yeah. then a third interest could be, could be, could be um, um, um you have you have the interest targeting Mother's Day. You have the other the other one targeting the actual company, a big brand, well known company, and a third one could be I don't know. A third one could be freaking, um, maybe 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 you target maybe you target maybe you target men over the age of whatever that are married. Yeah, that's yeah. the third ad set. So yeah. so now I have four different ad sets, all spending five bucks each, which is my twenty dollars per day. And after a few days, the data is going to tell me which ones are actually working. And out of the four, most likely it's just one that ends up popping after four to five days, after let's just call it four days, you'll, 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 you'll have some good data and yeah. whatever ones are not performing, you turn off the other three. Yep. Got it. Now, now it's, it, you can do it there. You can do it there. And then you can also do it on the ad level. So over here, I would do the same thing. I would, I would check the box. I would check the box and then I would duplicate and I would go three. It can go, you can go two, you can go three, you can go four, you can go as high as you freaking want. But in this case, I'm using $20 a day as the budget and I'm just breaking it up five each. So yeah. in this case, if I wanted to do it, if let's say I don't do it on the ad set level, but I do it here, yeah. it could be done both, but let's just say I only have $20 to work with. So let's say I do it here with here. All you're going to do is you're going to go in and change only the image. So now it's not the post that's on the page anymore. It's actually images that you're going to upload from your, from your computer. So yep. the other three, the other three images are going to be different images. Okay. So let me ask you that. So even though you're taking the post, you're using the post, you can change the picture. No, not when, not once you set it up, not when, you, not once I, I run the ad. No, because that's, that's on the, that's on the page, but anything that's not on the page. So for example, these other three would not be posted on the business page. Okay. So you're only running one ad from the post. The other ads you're just creating yourself. The other ads, the other ad, all I'm doing is I'm duplicating it. I'm duplicating it, which is the same objective, which was conversions, the yeah. same ad sets or ad set. And all I'm doing is I'm duplicating that initial post that's on the business page. I'm duplicating it three more times and I'm using a different image that I'm uploading myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So even though you're duplicating it and it was originally from a post, you can still change the image. Because the other three are not on the page. Mm -hmm. Got yeah. It. Yeah. And if it doesn't work that way, which I know it does, but if it doesn't work that way, then just initially just don't even, don't even post on the business page and run all four as a new ad. As a new ad. Well, well what if I ran at least just run one from an ad so that mm -hmm. the post is there and then the others just run separate? Yeah. Well, well not separate. I would duplicate. I yeah. Would duplicate. Right, right, right. I mean, not attached to the post. I guess. Is what yeah. I'm yeah. Saying. It wouldn't be. Yeah. The only, only the first one is the post. Yeah. I'm duplicating the post, but I'm changing the image. So the text is going to remain the same. The learn yeah. more button, the link to the landing page, that all stays the same. All yeah. I'm testing, all I'm changing, all I'm duplicating is the image, which I have on my in my downloads folder on my computer. Yeah. So let me ask you, the only reason you're posting first and then running an ad from it is so that that post stays there. That's so it. do you even really need to run it um, when you create your ad due from a post? Can't you, as long as you put the post on your page, it's there, right? Like there's no other reason to like tie them together. The only reason to tie it together is so, is so that initial post is one, it remains one, it remains on the page forever. When okay. I turn the okay. ad off, it's still there. Yeah. Okay. Got it. 
Got if, it. if you don't post on the business page and, and we just randomly come in here and create a new ad, the moment I turn it off, it's nowhere to be seen. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, so the it way just, just kind of makes it easier too, that once you have the posts and all the stuff in there, you can just bring it into the ad. Yeah. You can just run an ad on the back, in the back, in the background. Yeah. That's all it is. The post is up there public and all your 5,500 people that live around the world, they can see it. But behind the scenes, I'm actually running an ad on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. You know, and, 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 and the reason why I do it that way 99% of the time is because if I'm paying for that post, why not leave it there forever? Yeah. Like even when I turn it off, like I still want the learn more button there. Like I still want it on the page. Like, especially if it's a video, I run an ad on a video and it gets to 13,000 views. Why wouldn't I want that on my business page forever? I want that social proof. But if yeah. I didn't post it there and I ran the ad behind the scenes, that ad's gone 13,000 views. No one even sees it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'll post it on the business page first. And even with Instagram, you could post it on the Instagram first and then come back here and run the ad behind the scenes. Okay. Yep. All you know, right. So, so duplicating ad sets is, is one strategy and or duplicating the ad and, and simply changing the image is, is another strategy. Okay. So, so pick a handful of keywords and, and, and that's how you split test. You, you just create multiple ad sets okay. around each keyword. Yep. Got it. Okay. okay. So, so keep it simple. Dumb your services down, dumb your services down. So you're not stressed out, pulling your hair out, thinking you need to do all these random things for these business owners. They don't control you. The moment you, you do take on more tasks, they control you. Yeah. And, and you feel like you're freaking a damn employee. That's why I don't want clients no more. I want, I'm, I'm after customers. I'm after, I'm after scaling my digital course. I'm after teaching people to do this damn stuff themselves. Yeah. Because I don't need you micromanaging. I don't need you calling me every hour. I don't need you pissed off because your one freaking ad didn't perform. Yeah. Like, like I don't want any of that stress anymore. Yeah. I've had a ton of stress over these clients. Like, it's like, dude, you guys all yeah. suck. Like you guys have no idea what you're doing and, and, and you're blaming me. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, dude, I'm not your employee. Like I shit. Know. But at the I same time, wanna, you know, my eight o'clock on the couch, I want to be watching freaking Tiger right? Man or whatever. Right. I'm, I'm, so I sit on there and I'm like, oh, I didn't put it on the Insta, you know, and I'm like, right. Oh. So I'm mm -hmm. already sick of like, shit, I forgot to put it on whatever. I'm like, I don't want to do that anymore. I just want right. to on my no. wine and watch my tiger. Or whatever. Facebook ads, landing pages. That's it. Yeah. I'm telling so, you. Man. So with Kartra, since I done, they seem to be pretty flexible that maybe they'll let me have another um, trial again. Just cause like I've forgotten. No, here's I mean, what you're going to do. The link in the description, yeah. profitwithkartra.online. Open up an incognito window. Okay. Click on my profitwithkartra.online and set up a new email. Okay. All right. So just set up a whole different new email, a new Gmail. Set up a new Gmail and, yeah. and, and register everything under that one. Okay. That's what I'll do. And, and, and um, that's when for sure you have my time whenever the hell you want. <laughs> Thanks. Seriously. I watch all your stuff because I'm like, once I really get in the swing, I feel like I'm gonna know like the back of my hand. You are. I, I watch you run through all of it and what it does. So awesome, awesome. You'll have okay. my time for any strategy call, and then we also have Kartra live webinar calls every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. your time. So you'll learn that stuff like the back of your hand. Like I, I feel I have the whole entire system down, and and I'm telling you, it just it's 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 a necessity for any business owner that's trying to capture leads on the internet. That's yeah. it. Like that's it. I'll run your landing page software and email automation. I'll run these Facebook ads. And that's all I'm here to do is bring you business because that's the only thing that's going to bring you business. None of this other stuff that you're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, back yeah. to like the coronavirus people, even them, it's like they kind of get when this is all over, you're going to still need to be targeting for the mold removal, the other stuff. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can't say, oh, we don't need to collect emails right now because it's like. Dude, you absolutely have to. You, you have, have to collect to. emails. And again, the best way to do it, I keep repeating it, is offer them something of value for free. For free, yeah. Like offer them some type of coupon, offer them some type of discount. It's just a way to get them in our funnel. After that, I can email them whatever the hell I want after that. Yep, yep, that's like totally. And, and, and when these people are in your backyard, trust me, the 500 people that we have on, on an email list that came this way, the 500 people that we put on an email list 
is 10 times more effective than the 5,000 followers you have on Instagram. Yeah. That's a fact. And I'll end it right there. That's a mic drop. I'll end it right there. That's a fact. I get it. So I get it. And that's the coronavirus um, foggers. I told them that I said, because I had originally used them. They came and fogged my condo because it smelled like cigarette smoke when I bought it. Mm -hmm. I was like, and it was amazing, like how it worked. In one hour, they were done. It smelled awesome. It was amazing. So I said to him, I said, I should have gotten an email from you guys saying that, by the way, our product also kills coronavirus when this came out. But I didn't because they have no email. Right. You right. know, I'm like, how come I don't know that you guys did this? I only thought, because I thought randomly one day, I wonder if their stuff kills coronavirus. Go to their website. What do you know it does? I, I would have never, I just went and looked it up because that's the kind of person I am, but people aren't mm-hmm. doing that. So they've just lost so many opportunities of collecting the, emails. The average, the average small business owner is 55 years old in America. The average, the average, the average age is 55. And yeah. these are people that, that, that may have been in business forever which means all they know is offline. Yeah. So any type of marketing, every, any type of advertising would have been offline. This whole social media thing, Facebook ads, I'm telling you, it's, it's something they don't know. So Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't let them, don't let them get over you. Like, don't let them try to, you know, try to tell you what to do. It's like, no, bro, like this is my business. Like you don't know this stuff. I I study this stuff. You study freaking pest control. I study freaking Facebook and social media marketing. That's what I do. Yep. So don't question me because I'm not questioning you. Yeah. And, if, and, and, and this is all I want to do, Mr. Business Owner. And here, here's where I'm also started ahead. Here, here's where I'm also, and, and I don't, I don't want to you know, change the subject, but it's, it's, it's the same damn subject. Rather than offering, and this is not something you'll do right away. I mean, not something you have to do right away, but eventually this is how I'm thinking now, like long-term. I'm going to start hitting up business owners again, like eventually probably, probably, probably at the end of 2020 because I have other things that I, that I want to get out first like my mm-hmm. course, for example, and, 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 and probably at the end of 2020, I'm going to start hitting up businesses and not charging them a monthly retainer. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start asking for equity. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. Interesting. Yep. So I- I'm going to run these Facebook ads. I'm going to generate leads. I'm going to bring us customers and I want 30% of the company. Yeah. So don't pay me 2000 a month. Cause I know you probably can't afford it. Give me a percentage of the company. Yeah. That's where I'm headed. That's where I want to be headed. I want, I want to start gobbling up percentages of these freaking businesses. Yeah. Because yeah. the most important thing, the absolute most important thing is marketing and they all suck at it. Yeah. Aside so, of everything yeah. you do, bro, like inside of all the operations you got going on, the logistics, everything that consists of you running a company, marketing is the most important. That's what I'm here yeah. for. So yeah. I want equity. You know, so that, that's just, and, 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 and shout out to Russell Brunson. I, I watched a video from him a couple of days ago and, and, and that's what he was talking about. And I was like, dude, that's freaking a game changer. Like everyone's pitching 2000 a month. No, dude, I want equity. Yeah. Like, you know, and then that, that's just, that just opened up a completely different eyeball for me. And I'm like, wow, like I, I could pitch that. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's, that's long-term, you know, that's long-term right now. Let's, let's at least try to feed the family. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. With that new baby on the way. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So set up, set up the fortune day trial, profit with Carter done online, go into a new incognito and set it up that way and just register a whole new email. And, and, and you got me whenever you need me. I will. Awesome. That's cool. You know what? They are super flexible. They'll let you extend it to 30. So that's really, really nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you don't, if you don't have any funnels in there, set up a new one. So you got me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. God bless you. Be safe. Message anytime. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye.